What the heck? It's blank. What the heck? Where's my cards? Oh, they must have just completely messed that up. Packages here. Let's go see what that is, eh? for this. Okay, I've been waiting for this for a while, so let's get over here and start it. What's going on here? It's blank. What the heck? Where's my cards? They must have just completely messed that up. What am I supposed to do now? This is awful. Wait, I know. I'm an artist. Give me a second. All I have to do is take out my awesome book here full of paintbrushes and just take it and let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just take these cards here and create the cards I want. Let's see how well this is gonna work out, eh? If I'm right, this should work out really well. Let's see it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just take these cards here, they're all blank. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can just do it with this one right here first. Okay, I'm really nervous about this because I'm unsure if it's gonna work, but let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna do this in three seconds, okay? One, two, three. There we go, that worked out perfect. All right, so there you go. That's my business card right there. Okay, well, since it worked out good for that one, let's do the rest of these. One, two, three. Boom! Okay, well, enough messing around there. Let's get on a serious note here. These are my new business cards and I am super happy with them. Vistaprint did an incredible job on these. Now, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just really happy with them. I did a very, very thick grade of plastic here, which is super, super nice. On the front here, it has right there, the ambitious artist. And on the back, has the ambitious artist YouTuber, well, artist YouTuber, and then all my contact info and all my social media stuff right there. I kind of wish I would have added a few other things, but really I was unsure how it was gonna turn out. It has on the front here, the YouTube symbol, Twitter symbol, Instagram symbol, and a Facebook symbol. So that's my main social media. That's basically all the places that I post most of my artwork. I'm also really happy with the background that I chose because I feel like that it gives a really, really nice cinematic feel to the card. I really wanted to choose the nice cinematic looking card, which if you haven't already seen any of my videos, please check them out. I will put a link up here to my newest one. I try and film all my artwork in a nice cinematic appealing way with lots of 
dynamic shots and try my best to do really nice lighting. So that's something I really want to work on a lot more and have some amazing shots while I'm doing my artwork. All right, so let's get down to a good review about these cards here and my overall opinion. You know what, overall, I'm super, super pleased about these cards here. Okay, first of all, I don't have any magic powers. Originally, Vistaprint sent me, oops. <laughs> Originally, Vistaprint sent me some blank cards here. The reason being is I did not order the blank cards. There was a little bit of a glitch with the system there and my original design was not uploaded properly and it showed up as a blank card and I guess they just thought that's a blank card so they sent me a whole bunch of blank cards. So that was uh, quite interesting when I first got the blank cards. I was fairly upset about that but Vista Prince customer service was amazing. They resent me all my original designed cards free of charge and it was here in a matter of a week. So that was awesome customer service and right on Vistaprint, good job. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about the quality of the cards. The quality of these cards are amazing. Again, I did get the very, very thick, thick plastic here and it's probably just as thick as, or maybe thicker than your average bank card. So I'm really happy with that and the reason why I got it as a thick plastic is because I feel like if someone gives you this, the likelihood of you throwing it away is probably a lot less. Plus I really just like the look of a nice thick card. I do really like how much it stands out this card compared to other flimsier business cards because that's what I really want to do here is stand out, you know? Now the only downside that I have with these cards is they scratch fairly easy. I'll show you quickly here. I'm not going to do it on the nice cards there. Let's see. So this one, I don't know if you can tell, doesn't have any scratches on it. It's really nice, just take my word for it. And if you just kind of rub anything on it, like that, I mean, I highly doubt someone's gonna mess it up like that. But let's just see. It gets a lot more scratchy. I don't know if you, yeah, see, there you go. You can see a little bit of scratches. But again, it's still a lot more durable than just a piece of plastic. Now the packaging. The packaging is just a normal box. It's, it was really good, really well shipped. Super well taken care of, a little bit of bubble wrap in there, so that's fun. All right. Okay, that wraps it up for this unboxing. A quick little review of Vista Prince cards here, and I'm very happy with them. I'm not gonna do too much unboxings here unless it's gonna be like, art supplies and all that fun stuff so if you did like this review please leave a comment down below and please if you are into art and everything subscribe to my channel there all right remember stay ambitious